Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now if you have an old OEM system like this Dell for example you may be quite limited when it comes to overclocking options. It's a subject I haven't covered much on this channel but when one of my Twitter followers by the name of Yoidza Gaming told me that they had overclocked a Q6600 using tape I just had to try it out. I'd never heard of this before but apparently using a little bit of electrical tape you can prevent contact between two pins and the motherboard which in turn alters the CPU multiplier to run between 6 and 9, with 9 meaning a 3 GHz operating speed for the CPU. This is variable and it means that the Q6600 will idle with a lower heat output and power usage, but under load will accelerate to full power and give you extra performance, which is perfect for older pre-built PC users who don't have the option to change such metrics in the BIOS. As you can see I've covered these two contacts with tape and after that I just put the Q6600 back in the PC with the stock cooler. You won't notice a difference in control panel or device manager, but opening up CPU Z will tell you all you need to know. And as you can see, this thing is operating at 3 GHz in an otherwise non overclockable Dell system. I'm not 100% sure on which CPUs or motherboards this works with, but I believe that some Core 2 Duo series chips can benefit from this too. So it's time to see what sort of difference this makes and whether or not it's stable. First, let me share with you the results from Cinebench. R15, which in the multi-core test scored 283, as opposed to 226 with the stock 2.4 GHz speed. The Dell also comprises of 8 GB of RAM and a GT1030 GPU. So let's get gaming. First up we tried GTA 5, a more CPU intensive game and here at 1080p with the game's normal settings, which is basically low settings, we saw an average of 50 FPS with our electrical tape overclock. But what's interesting here is the game didn't stutter at all, yet at stock speeds I found the game dropping a few frames here and there. The footage throughout will of course be from the overclocked results, but at stock we averaged just 40 in comparison. Next up I tried City Skylines with the maximum settings, we could have turned things down but this best represented the scenario between playable and unplayable. At 3GHz this game averaged 30fps but at 2.4GHz we saw just 26 which in a game like this may still seem playable but it's nice to see those extra frames. Overwatch now and here we saw another big difference, our 3GHz results saw 70 with the low settings yet just 60 without. Sure 10 frames once you're above 60 FPS may not feel much different at all but it's pretty cool to see that just two pieces of finely cut tape made this possible especially when such an option was in my mind not achievable up until this point. Finally it's Bad Company 2, an older game but still a pretty good one to test with older hardware. 47 was the average with the increased multiplier here and beforehand we saw 42. Not a huge difference this time round and we were still even able to run this game with the maximum settings so it looked and played very nice. There we have it. If you have an old OEM system with limited BIOS functions and don't think you can overclock, you may be surprised as to what's achievable. I'm still a big fan of old Optiplexes and 775 quad cores, so a little trick like this may seem very handy. Don't forget that this can easily be reversed too, just take the tape off. As for a quick word on temperatures, there was actually a dropper idle of 5 to 7 degrees, but under load I saw an increase of between 5 and 10, and the system was incredibly stable throughout you wouldn't even know that the tape was on there. And I'd definitely recommend trying it out for yourselves if you have an older system like this. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, a little bit spontaneous, I have to say, after I heard about this on Twitter. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on it. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And please let me know if you've tried this down below. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.